I think it is eighth. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually. You yeah, are yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> to put it into perspective, Rancid has been a band since like 1993. They have nine records. We never like took like the like the huge four or five year gap that yeah. most bands like take and disappear, and then you know start weird art projects and then reform their band. At eight records, you also look at your career as this much bigger thing than just a debut, a sophomore record. And that is almost a freeing thought. We're doing an eighth record. We'll probably do a ninth record. We're gonna capture this moment that we're in right now. And then after this, we're gonna capture the next moment. When you woke up and saw that someone like Donald Trump could get elected to be president of this country, and you saw like this sort of thinly veiled rise of racism and sexism and nationalism in this country. You saw people that were people that were afraid and they were voting based on fear. I think just being aware that people are easily fooled um, was something that like factored into the record. It was a wake-up call in a lot of ways, but one of the wake-up calls was we drove every day to the studio passing by the Trump signs, you know, in the, in the giant fields of across Tennessee and many people who were like proudly and unapologetically, you know, like I think this is the best guy to, to lead the charge. We felt like the black sheep in Nashville, Tennessee, you know what I mean? But that's kind of where Rise Against feels most comfortable sometimes, so. That's a good story. Yeah, <laughs> we had uh, every intention and plans to record a video for the violence. It was gonna take place on this piece of property in Kroger, Virginia. Kroger, yeah. Uh, and uh, it's a property that has 20 foot high busts of the presidents. They were like the result of a failed theme park, of like a presidential theme park. And so we were gonna film this video there and there's a board that controls what happens on this land. Two days before the video shoot, they voted, like they said no to us after we had permits and everything. But that was supposed to happen and uh, you know, but they don't like us. They didn't like us. It was flattering to, to know that your band is, is still a threat to the establishment. Yeah. <laughs> We've been a band for 18 years, but our front row has always been 16 years old, you know? It's cool when you can, you know, watch somebody sing a song that you wrote, like maybe like the year they were born. In some ways, I feel like a band like Rise Against is like the professor that teaches the freshman class in a college. So every year, it's a new crop of students coming in, you know. And we're teaching a lot of the same lessons, you know, as a band. We're always after a lot of the same goals with a record. The goal is like when you play a new song, if it feels like an old song, then you've done a, you know, your your job. <laughs>